Professor Clements with you as again we consider special relativity uh, situation and uh, trying to determine in this case the, the speed of the object moving away from the Earth. So we've got the spacecraft, we have a measurement by an observer on the Earth measuring the spacecraft to be 30 meters long. The model of spacecraft that is uh, being used um, has a, a, a twin, sort of, a, you know, same model on the Earth, that's 70 meters long. So before this moving spacecraft left the Earth, it was 70 meters long and had a width of 10 meters. Um, the spacecraft's moving in the direction of the long uh, axis of the spacecraft. So this is a length contraction problem. Its length contraction is occurring here. What's the speed of the spacecraft away uh, from the Earth. So we make, of course, we all should make a sketch of what's uh, happening here. So we have uh, spacecraft, and from the point of view of someone on the Earth, the spacecraft is 30 meters long. Where it started you know, on Earth, the spacecraft is. 70 meters long. And the reason that it's shorter is length contraction has taken place. The length is the at length at rest divided by our gamma factor. We want to determine the speed, and that speed is a parameter inside the gamma calculation. So that's the way we'll be progressing. I'm going to solve this for gamma. I just have to kind of cross multiply. Um, L equals L naught over gamma. You can consider this to be over 1. Um, cross multiply here. Gamma over 1 equals L naught over L. And we have those values. 70 meters for L naught. 30 meters for the L. So we know that gamma is 2.33 and as many threes as you want to write down. Um, so let's put that into our calculation for gamma. Gamma is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So we know that gamma is 2.33. The way that this is calculated, 1 minus v squared over c squared. So this v is uh, kind of buried in this formula. It's in a denominator. It's underneath the square root. It has a square on it. Somehow we have to isolate v. What would you do for the first step? Now, let's get rid of the square root as the first step. You might cross multiply, but let's go ahead and get rid of the square root. So I'm going to square both sides. Square both sides. And we end up with 5.444. And you ought to do this on your own calculator. And now we have 1 over 1 minus v squared over c squared. There's no longer a square root symbol. Um, we got rid of that. Now I'm going to cross multiply and go across the page as I do that. So cross multiplying here, I'll have 1 minus v squared over c squared is now 1 over 5.444. I'm going to go ahead and uh, process the uh, 1 over 5.444. I'd have 1 minus v squared over c squared and when I divide here, 1 divided by 5.444, I get 0 0.18367. Again, you should be uh, pausing once in a while and check these numbers on your own calculator. Now I'm going to add v squared over c squared to both sides. I'm going to subtract 0.18367 from both sides. So go ahead and doing that, writing it out here. 1 minus 0.18367. And over here, positive v squared over c squared. I can process the left side. That's just two numbers. So I have 0 0.8163 equals v squared over c squared. What would you do next? Solving for v. What would you do next? Well, let's take a square root of both sides. So when I take a square root of both sides, the square root of 0.8163 is going to be equal to the square root of v squared over c squared. 
and that square root is 0.904 on the left and the square root of squares just gives us V over C and look at that we're getting pretty close to the answer V is equal to 0.904 C that is our uh, uh, result that's the speed of the spacecraft and to kind of double check um, if you calculate the gamma 1 over square root of 1 minus our V is 0.904 C we have to square that and calculate gamma and we divide by C squared you ought to double check that and this whole result gives us a gamma of 2.339 if you notice up here the gamma that uh, we started with 2.333 so I've used some rounded off numbers on the work as we went along here, uh, but the result we're coming up with, 0.904C, the gamma for that is 2.339, the gamma that we're supposed to have is 2.333, that's close enough, let's just do some round off error of the numbers I used in these intermediate calculations. If you would keep more digits and not write things down on paper, just keep your work in memory of your calculator, that would work out better. So try some practice problems like this and ask your instructor questions.